Welcome to Sunday morning. I'm your friend Scotty Ray, and welcome to Scotty Ray's Weather. As we begin this Sunday morning, we do have some sprinkles that are occurring this morning, a 20% chance through about lunchtime. Uh, we'll get some uh, highs in the, oh, about 62, 63. We'll go over all the weather for you here in just a moment. Good morning. Again, I hope your day is going well, and hope you can find a church to go to this morning somewhere. Let's turn to the weather today. Your forecast is brought to you by EMEPA, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. First off, let's go to a radar and look at uh, where storm predictions are today. As we pull this up, we'll notice that it's east of Mississippi. Now, we do have some shower sprinkles here in Mississippi. We move over all the way to Atlanta, uh, through Georgia and up through Knoxville, Johnson City, uh, Tennessee, down through Tallahassee, all taking, well, most of Florida in and up through uh, Wilmington. Uh, these area here, Charleston, all these areas should expect thunderstorms today. Bunch of snow up in Virginia in the Northeastern part, Detroit, Milwaukee, all these areas, uh, even up through Wisconsin there, tons of snow coming down. Uh, as we zoom in a little closer uh, to the Meridian areas to see we've got Tuscaloosa, Montgomery, these areas still getting some light rain. We get a little bit closer of where we are. Hattiesburg getting showers. Northern Lauderdale County and Southern Kemper getting the most. We do have a little bit out to the west there in Newton County as we turn on our, uh, our locations and zoom in a little bit closer here. Uh, we'll see that uh, we got Lazy Acres Christmas Tree Farm here. It's to the northwest of there. Uh, it's going to be just to the east there of Little Rock where the post office is. As we move back into Lauderdale County, uh, we do show that we've got showers here up in Portable, Mississippi, uh, just south of Scuba there from the college down to where the Cowboy Church is on 45, uh, over to where Blackwater Baptist Church is, and just south right now where the coal plant is in Damascus and up in uh, where West Lauderdale Elementary is around Chet's Paint and Body in these areas and NAS Meridian getting some light showers this morning. Nothing heavy uh, by all means, but just enough to sprinkle the ground. And we got some uh, wet roads that did uh, sprinkle on and off last night uh, throughout the evening hours. So that's a, a rundown of where radar is this morning. So let's, uh, let's see what the, the National Weather Service calls for today and tells us what to expect. As we pull that up, uh, slight chance of rain today, and we're getting that now, that 20% chance to around lunchtime. Uh, the National Weather Service tells us to expect scattered sprinkles till then, and then uh, cloudy. Temperature hit 66 by lunchtime. It's going to drop to around 53 uh, by dark 30. And again, we've got wind gusts for the next whew, three, four days. So a little bit warmer than it is now. As we uh, move forward to take a look at this, What's going to happen over the next 10 days, which shows that we do have a little bit of a cooling trend coming. It's going to be just north of here and then a cold trend behind that. Uh, but still warm above average for the Meridian area at the moment. But over the next 10 days, it'll start to gradually go down a little bit there. As we look at the record highs and record lows of what happened on this date, it was 1957. It was a warm 82 degrees. Now, 1966 was a different story. We were sitting at 13 on this day in 66. That's a cold day, I promise you. 82, just the opposite of that. Uh, as we turn to this is the last day. We won't see this until next uh, November. Maybe bow season will start that back. But uh, deer season ends today in the state of Mississippi. So what are the best feeding times today? We pull this up. Uh, we go backwards because I made a mistake there. And we look at this. Uh, today, your first major time is right before daylight. It'll be ending here in just a little bit. And then our second major time makes the, the hunt this afternoon the best from 4 o'clock until dark 30. About 6 o'clock is going to be the best times today. So it'll go out with a bang before it's all said and done. We wish you luck. Hope you can get out to the woods and enjoy yourself today and uh, maybe kill something. Maybe you haven't had the best year so far, but uh, hopefully it'll work out for you. So good luck to everybody. As we turn to talk about SMI Automotive, they got all the truck accessories you need right here in the Meridian area. Drop in and see Joe. No matter what you're looking for when it comes to an accessory for a truck, they have it for you there at SMI Automotive. They get your cup holders. This is one of the handiest things made that uh, uh, WeatherTech cup holder for your cell phone that you can put that cup holder and hold your phone and not go anywhere. Also, toolboxes galore for all your trucks, whether you're looking for a diamond deck or just a black one to match in on the truck to black it out. And, of course, uh, windshield, uh, wind, wind vents and bug shields for the front of your truck. Either way that you're looking for to dress it up, they've got that. Leveling kits, if you need one of those put on your truck, they can do that. Worn winches, they do all types of brush guards. And, of course, they do uh, Nerf bars. If you need a truck step for your truck, see them today. There's many varieties. You'd just be shocked how many they are. Joe can show you what there is to choose from. 
As you look at bed covers, one of the niftiest things, make sure that nothing you have is wet when you haul it. It's perfect for that. It'll fold up and you use your bed as it goes along. Where do you find all this? Well, it's at the SMI Automotive here in Meridian on 22nd Avenue. Drop in or call Joe at 601-482-5890, rather. A great place uh, to get taken care of there. Been there a long time, and Joe will help you uh, get you back on the road there and uh, going in your, your vehicle. Well, as uh, let's see here what else we got going on with uh, the weather this morning. Let's look at our forecast of what uh, the National Weather Service is calling for. As I said today, a 20% chance of rain. We'll have some sprinkles through about lunchtime. And then temperature up to about 66, and we're going to be gusty again, 25 miles an hour. And by dark, it'll drop to 53. Now we go in tonight with a low of 37. Again, those gusts of 25 miles an hour will kick the week off, and it's going to be colder, 46 tomorrow for a high. Yeah, and gusty again, 25-mile-an-hour gust down to 29 tomorrow night. That is going to be cold uh, with, uh, again, those gusty winds. By Tuesday, we got sunshine in 53. By Wednesday, we're at 59. Let's look at the extended forecast, and it shows us there, as we said right there, that cold weather on Monday night and on Tuesday night. And as we go on toward the week, we're going to be hitting a high of 67 on Thursday because it's bringing in rain there on Friday. Uh, so uh, some um, high temperatures toward the end of the week and some cold nights just ahead of us. So burr, that's uh, coming up. So right now we're sitting at 59 this morning. We're uh, not all that. We'll uh, get about five to six more degrees before it's all said and done today. Again, uh, glancing back at radar this morning, we're showing that we do have those light sprinkles there above us here in northern Lauderdale County, a little bit to the west there in Newton County. Nothing major as we look over to Alabama, Tuscaloosa getting some rain. Uh, heavier toward Birmingham. And uh, that's a quick look at uh, weather this morning. Again, 59. Uh, thanks for dropping by. We'll be back, as always, with more weather as it happens, develops, and happens right here at Scotty Ray's Weather. Join me and Candace in the morning at 8.30 live for all your news and everything that's going on in the community here with Scotty Ray's Weather. Scotty Ray's Weather is brought to you by 